Hi right, guys, what's up? Welcome back. In this video, I'm touching the main tools palette right here. As you can see, it's in the middle of the screen. I'm moving around. All right, so some really cool stuff and everything you need to know for your compositions on Finale. This is like home screen, like it's kind of everything you need. And it's cool because you can put it everywhere to, to put it out of your face if you want to. Um, I have two screens, so I'm able to like put it on top and then drag that thing on back down and you know what I'm saying, move it out the way if you need to. But super cool to have. If you want to toggle it, you can just go to um, Window, Main Tool Palette, click it, it'll disappear or click it again or Command T for my Apple people. Um, super easy shortcut if you just want to toggle it and move that thing on out your way. So let's do it, man. So the first thing is this arrow, all right? Selection tool. So you can, you're able to do a thousand different things with this. Like you can select literally, um, say you select COVID-19 in a title. If you double click it, you're able to adjust it, you know what I'm saying? Edit it, write, um, whatever you want to write. Same thing with every other piece of writing that's on the page so if you double click the time signature that will come up you're able to change the time signature you're able to double click the key signature same thing um it's, it's a really cool useful tool that kind of like a one-stop shop for everything you need and just like that also a really cool trick as well if you have a measure that you just want to copy and paste to another measure selection tool you can just do that all right Super easy, super user friendly. I love it. Pretty much it, man. The one stop shop. You're also able to move stuff around like super easy. All right. Uh, that, the magnifying glass. Of course, you can just zoom in, zoom out. All right. So if you want to zoom in, just click it normal. If you want to zoom out, press option. Hold down option at the same time and it will zoom out for you. All right. Super, super easy tool. So if you want to zoom in or zoom out, you can kind of just bam pinch your fingers together and it will zoom in and out for you hope you can see that all right it's kind of shortcut grab a tool you're able to move this thing on around and if you want to use the kind of the grabber tool two fingers on that thing at once and move it up and down and it'll move the grabber tool so um little trick little easy trick all right all right so next you have a staff tool right here okay like that all right so if you double click the measure uh any measure it doesn't matter the measure all right if you double click the measure it will go to the staff attributes for whatever the part is there's so much in here and you kind of just read it for yourself but it's so much in here that you can if you want a high bra line if you want a high you know what i'm saying chorus cleft whatever you can change it right here, which is really dope. You want to personalize like a certain a certain part or whatever. If you double click it in, if you want to take away the bar lines, right? So I click that. If you go to the part by itself, the sure, the trumpet two, all the bar lines are gone. Like you know what I'm saying? All the bar lines are gone. So you can do that with key signature. You want you want to see you know, boom, no more key signature. Like you can kind of play around with it. Um, that's the staff tool all right so measure tool um i love this tool this is you can kind of personalize measure by measure with this tool um if you want a double broad line bam click double broad line and double broad line that thing all right if you want a solid line dash line like whatever you want all right you can you can click all these things and experiment with this um the width of it the extra space the you know what i'm saying it's so much you can it's so much you can do with this. Alright, since we're talking about measures, if you go up to the top where it says edit, you have a couple of measure things, okay? So firstly, firstly. Okay, so firstly, if you click add measures, it will add however many measures you need to the end of the piece. So say you need 37 extra measures. Alright, it added on to the end of the piece just like that. Make it longer if you need extra measures. If you don't need the extra measures, you just highlight them with the selection tool or the measure tool and just press delete and there's your delete. Scare it like that. If you need to insert like a measure stack before um, a phrase or something like that, so say for instance, let me do it like that, okay? So if you need to put some measures in between those two A's, highlight the second measure, go to edit, go to insert measure stack, um, let's say four measures press OK, bam, all right, so it added four measures in between those two notes just like that. 
and it's super useful if you need to insert something before a phrase that you might have forgot or something like that i don't know um also one more thing if you need to make multi-measure rest all you can do is just highlight the measures with the selection tool or the measure tool they work the same all right make sure you highlight all of it multi-measure rest double click press create and bam all right and if you need same thing you can do it as many times as you, as you want to just like that bam if you need to break them up break you feel me or you can do the same exact thing from the edit up here all right multi-major rest create so you can get it from you can get to it from going to the edit at the top or right clicking on the mouse all right or double clicking if you have a, a tracking pad yeah tricks of the trade cool for the key signature double click the measure whatever measure you want to go to if you want to change the key signature bam now we in g major all right some other cool stuff about the key signature so um you can do measure one through measure six all right we go on the key b flat all right so on measure seven it's going to be back at g major right so a whole bunch of cool stuff you can do with it um yeah experiment have some fun so another cool thing right so let's put some notes down all right cool we got these notes down so if you go to the key signature um click it double click transpose notes up so say you're going to we in g flat major say you're going to a major right if you have that click transpose notes transpose notes up it's gonna go bam all right so the notes gonna be in the same scale degree no matter what no matter what the key signature is right so inversely if you use down say we go into c major right so it's gonna go to the same scale degree in c major of every single note that's affected by the by the key change all right so it's really cool if you don't want it if you don't want the note to move at all press that whole notes to original pitches in harmonically so that's an f sharp in the trumpet so say we going to uh, i a flat major right so it's gonna stay in f sharp well they use the inner mind it's gonna be g flat but it's gonna stay the same no matter what if you have that box checked all right all right cool so next you have the time signature tool so this tool is pretty easy kind of similar to the to the key signature tool um just double click a measure any measure doesn't matter which one and it brings you to this window here it has measure so and so through so and so measure so and so through the end of piece measure so and so through the next next time change um this kind of looks different in the other versions of finale a little bit so right here you have the number beats of the measure over the type of note that gets the beat um you guys know how to make key signatures all right so when you do it if you want the key signatures to move the extra notes over to the next measure make sure this is checked if you don't want that to automatically happen make sure it's not checked um, I'll show you momentarily. All right, so let's try it out. Let's just put random notes in the trumpet part. All right, so here I have a whole bunch of quarter notes. To change the time, so it starts in 4 4, to change it to, let's say you want to change it to 5 4 the next measure. Bam. And it automatically fills out the measure with the extra note from the next measure that would have been in the next measure in 4 4. All right, so it does that automatically. If you don't want that to happen, like I said, uncheck that box and let's try and look at it. All right, and then it leaves that extra the extra space right there to add a note if you want to on that beat six. All right, so play around with it. Super easy to use. And say you want to use this feature, measure four through measure um, six. Let's say we're trying to do. Let's go to cut time. All right, cut time, which is two over two. So if you want to do cut time or something like that, and to see the C with the line through it, go to more options, go to abbreviate, all right? So do the two over two or four over four to make common time, press abbreviate, press okay, and there it is. All right, so that's the time signature. It's really, really simple, really cool to be able to change time signatures kind of on a whim like this. And yeah, super easy, super easy to maneuver with.
if you want to do a composite time signature, so say you're doing, all right, say you're doing three, four plus six, eight. I don't know who would who would do that or why, but um, press that and then you have the composite time signatures right there, just like that. And yeah, all right, and that is the time signature palette. Let's go. All right, cool. So the next one is just simple entry. Um, is this this palette over here? If you uncheck it, uh, it's just another way to toggle it. All right. Next one is speedy entry. That's a whole that's a whole beast. I'm gonna do a whole speedy entry um, video and a hyperscribe tool video in the very near future. All right, stay tuned for it. Some really cool stuff on how to input notes and everything. All right, so with the tuplet tool. You're essentially able to um, put any number of beats in a certain time span to make triples, duples, quadruples, um, whatever you need to to make the to make whatever rhythm you're trying to make. So I'll show you like this. You can use the duple to make a quarter note triplet like this. Three quarters in the span of two quarters. All right. So I made the quarter note triplet on beats one and two of the measure, and then at least three and four to do whatever else you want to do to it. There's a cool little experiment you can do with the two plates. Alright, so all the little quarter note trippers you can do with it. Or you could just, if you're doing simple entry, um, go to this, click the quarter note, and then click the triplet. And same thing as this, eighth notes. Alright, and then that leaves beat four for whatever all right so really cool really cool trick another cool thing you can do with the two plates so say you want to make a duplet fill in six eight so just go to the time signature tool click it make the time signature of six eight all right that's not six eight all right six eight and i will put in a couple of eighth notes like that so to make a duplet fill in six eight you can just do it like this. Put four eighth notes in there, click the tuplet tool, double click. All right, two eighths in the span of three eighths. All right, do that, press OK, and now you have a duplet. All right, you can do the same thing on the second measure, on the second half of the measure. Two eighths in the span of three eighths. And to show you the difference, I will copy and paste that right there and do it like that. And all right, and that's all in um, six eight. So you can do the same thing. So say you want two quarters in six eight, all right. And with the duplet tool, two quarters in the space of three quarters, and like that. All right, this is all in six eight. Triplet fill, duplet fill, duplet. All right, yes, cool, cool way to add a couple of hemiolas and different fills in your music without going back and forth between time signatures. Just use the tuplet uh, tool and able to make some make some magic with it. All right, MIDI tool. Yeah, I don't have my MIDI keyboard set up right now for this video, but uh, I'll set it up and go more in depth in the MIDI tool. Smart shape tool. I right, got some really. Some really cool stuff in this tool you got here. All right, so you go to it, double click a note, and this palette comes up. So you got the slur, so say you wanna slur these two notes. All right, you can do that. Dash slur. I don't even know what a dash slur is, but if you wanna do a dash slur, you can do a dash slur. All right, crescendo, decrescendos. Double click, you can make your crescendo however long you wanna make it. If you wanna make it super long, super short. And if you go to the Go to the left side or the right side, whatever when you're using. You make it bigger or smaller. Click that box and make it bigger or smaller. Do that. It's really simple, really cool, really easy. Um, trill tool. All right. I right, double click note. And bam, you now have a trill. Let me see. All right, bam, it's a trill. All right, cool. All right, trill extension tool. You just use it to make the trill longer, <laughs> of course. All right, 8VA. 
So the 8VA indicates whether or not to play the note written as up an octave or down an octave. Once you go to it, hover over the note, whatever direction the arrow is pointing to is the opposite direction that the note is going to sound. So if the arrow is pointing up, the note is going to sound an octave lower with the 8VA. And inversely, it is the same the opposite direction so if the arrow is pointing down then the note written is it's going to sound an octave above what's written all right and then the 15 va is just double octaves all right so there you go check it out coming down an octave all right and 15 va coming up an octave All right, just like that. All right, so make sure that arrow is pointing to the, pointing the right direction, and you're good to go. Oh, like I don't I don't know what these are for, all these brackets and stuff like that. I mean I don't know. I mean it's just lines. All right, the next cool thing, um, Gosando tool. All right, so let's do that. Bam, check it out. I don't know what the bin hat tool, but I mean, I guess to, you know, connect two different notes on some connection stuff. Oh right, yeah, so the rest of these, um, guitar bin tool, you know what I'm saying? If you want to guitar bin that thing, I right, tap slide tool, I don't even, I don't even know what that is either. Um, dash curve tool, I don't even know what that is either. And custom line tool, I fool around with it, have some fun. All right, so this video is already getting kind of lengthy. I will make this a two-part series so I can finish going down the the rest of the the rest of the palette. Um, it's a lot on there. Like I didn't realize it was that much on there until I started until I started doing this video. Um, but I will be back. Make sure you stay tuned for part two where I finish doing the palettes. And after those videos. I have the simple entry video and the speedy entry video and and all of those already I'm already working on those so they should be out pretty soon. Um so make sure you stay tuned, subscribe so you would know when the next one comes out. And yeah, have a good one. Peace.